Hello everybody, this is Gabbis Games, and welcome back to Crossout Let's Build. Today we're going to build another Leviathan on some guys' requests. You, you guys wanted to see a budget version of the last cannon spam build. So we're going to build one with only using 11 rares and comments solely. So nothing else than those two things. So we're going to start out with a uh, basic frame layout. In the shape of four a by fours and four six by four frames, and a single four by four in the center. We're gonna slap the huntsman as our cabin because we don't really need anything else. And we're gonna start with the wheels. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of these small steering wheels. We're gonna need a total of twelve of them, three on each side, and then we're gonna go. On and we're gonna take ourselves two non-steering ones at the center, and we're gonna go on to the armor parts. So we're gonna load up the fenders, and we're gonna slap three of them in each side to cover the space in between the wheels. So there we go, and we're gonna take the first three rares, which are gonna be three ammo packs, and we're gonna slap them in the back right here. Like that. And we're going to get a small radar. And we're going to stick it right there behind this. It's going to be pretty safe here. If you want you can also place it like this. It also works. But I kind of like it like this. Because then we can actually put a roof on top of it. So next up is. Uh, mainly filling up the side sections right here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start with a canvas roof in front. Canvas roof on the side. Let's see. Uh, it needs to be halfway, actually. It needs to be right here. And we're going to grab a pair of long pipe shields to fill up the gap. Like that. And actually, let's not grab that part. Uh, actually, uh, first find windows here and here. Oh. Now we're gonna check how we can fit that thing here. Yeah, we need to actually need two of these in front. So we've got this flat section, and then we can continue with t uh, some four wide parts like this and we want to use the grill twos right here for gun mounting and then we're going to slap our first cannon on which is going to be avenger 57 millimeter cannon which is going to be right there and we're going to stick another one right at the back those are the two rare we uh, uh, common weapons and all the other weapons will consist out of little boys and pretty much solely little boys so, um, I want to put these ones a little bit forward. So, I want to have a second one right there, if possible. Like this, so they both mount on the grill too, as well as other parts. And we're going to grab some quarter walls to put in front of here. Like that. And that's pretty much most of the front ready. Uh, as you can see, the frontal cannons, uh, they can still like face forward and fire forward. So we got five cannons capable of firing forward. And the rear four guns are actually going to be elevated one. So they can shoot over this, these cannons. Uh, so we're going to start out with some more gun mounts. Oh, I see I forgot a pair of... Uh, fan windows and there we go uh, I do want to put some armor right here if possible let's see if you can oh bonnets there are high level parts so you might actually have to substitute them for other parts but they just fit in there really really well so I'm gonna put them there and keep them there so back to weapons little boys Uh, we're gonna put two of them right here. 
I think I might actually want to put them out. Yeah, put them out two. So just as far as this one, but one elevated. <coughs> and let's check if we can actually put. Yep, we can. So we can put two of these right there, right there. No problem. Now we're going to grab these ones. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. So that's entirely layered out. Which is nice. And we're going to grab ourselves a large avia panel right here. And then another grill one. And we're going to grab the secondary can the other cannons like this. And now we're going to create some extra mountings for these weapons. In the shape of Frankfurt ventilated slopes. Two like this on each side. We'll mount that gun. And this gun will be mounted using a grill four. Like this. That will carry pretty much the entire gun in its own. Front gun is good. Now we have to go to this gun right here. Grab ourselves a quarter uh, barrel quarter. Let's go there. And let's grab a pair of white, if you white slopes. And we're going to put those two right here. And put two white slopes like this. We're going to take a uh, look a little bit at uh, how the gun, uh, the entire vehicle looks. So let's see. Can we put that right here? We are blocking the gun. Yes, we can. In the rear, I don't think we can do that though. Nope. I do want to armor the guns a little bit, at least frontally, if possible. So let's see how we're gonna do that. Uh, let's start with if you panel large. If you can, yes, we can put those there. That already helps. Uh, they don't actually limit the gun angle at all. That's good. Of course. And let's see. Uh, medium strut like this actually works. And then we put... There's a two eye level. Uh... Let's take something else. This blade should work. Like that. So you shield that gun as well, at least a little bit. And uh, let's put another pair of these two for the sake of it right here as well. And I want to check if we can put a roof on. Ooh, wrong part. No, we cannot put a roof on it like that. Okay, we'll put a roof on this one. Can put it like that, but can we put it one lower though? Let's check. That should actually be able to mount it. There we go. I really want to put a uh, part right there. Makes it look so much nicer. And it will, of course, protect the uh, radar. That's good. Got two more of these. Uh, let's put one of them like that. And um, let's see. Can we put the truck right there? Nope. Uh, what else could we put there? Uh, what? There we go. Okay, that works, but nah, let's, let's actually let's put rear doors on here. Those work. Like, look at that. It's instant armor. <laughs> it's already at 58 of 50, 58 um, energy, though, so it's not like we really can add anything else in simple armor now. Okay, let's see. I kind of. Oh. 
I kind of want to put it right there. Also, guys, I do want to point out that these guns are uh, customization kits. However, you do not really need to. I mean, it's just I only got four of the normal ones, and I got four of each customization kit right now. I can put other custom. I can put the other customization kit on it if you guys want. Whatever, and you can of course upgrade guns to like uh, the Fat Man if you want to. However, they will not entirely fit in the same way as you can see. Let's see if I can actually fit them on the side. I don't think so. Uh, nope. And uh, nope. So this is more or less a little bit only. You can't... I told you, man, last time. You don't have to do that, please. <laughs> Come on. And his tendency to do capital letters on every single word. God. Mm, let's get back to building, shall we? Uh, a little bit more frontal armor should do the job mostly. Rear armor, maybe I don't really think it will be necessary. Not sure. However, I do want to put. Oh, I got. Do I? Where did I use the other one? Oh, I did. I did I use it here. Oh, rip. And this is gonna be just gonna be put there, and we're gonna put a roof in front. I guess. Uh, what would we use for that? Simple. Oh, we can put it right here. Or oh, just not there. Okay. That's how we armor again in here, apparently. Okay. Then this way we are gonna armor it. Or I actually will know a way to save it part by just putting that up and putting this up. Front's armored, rear's armored pretty well as well. That's good. Uh actually I think we can put yes we can. There we go. Much better rear armor of the gun. Although I do want to put this one towards the back. This one towards the back. Right. Let's remove those two for a second. There we go. Get the radar back in. And grab that other plate. There we go. And back to the white slope. White slope goes there. I actually still have this little room right here. Uh, actually, I think it's something that will help. It will only cost... Uh, like, it costs like nothing, but it does help a vehicle like this. And then it doesn't fit. Oh well. Rip. Uh, let's go back to Aphia Slopes then. I don't want to fill in this gap, so... Like, there we go. And actually, let's use Aphia Struts, because... Those look really nice in there. Ah, god damn it. That's better. Those look really nice there. And we basically got the Leviathan done, I guess. It's 40,000 power score, which does come out at a decent high amount. Is there a cannon that actually gets blocked? Oh, and I almost forgot something. We actually have to uh, raise up the central position a little bit. Because otherwise it's going to fire at its own section right here. And we don't want it to waste ammo. So raising it is to keep the rear guns from firing at it. Uh, we're going to actually do that though. I guess that works. <laughs> This way, it will, again, it will just keep itself from firing at itself instead of shooting at the enemy. And that doesn't really look cool, so let's not add that. And this actually looks really cool, but you will need... I mean, you don't have to add it, guys, but I just want to because it looks really cool. 
And I know that you guys probably will not have access to Steppenwolf's part, but you know what, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna add a little bit there. And actually, that's not that bad. And add some decor item, because why the hell not? Gotta add those balloons. And instead of those slopes, let's add more balloons. In your, uh, your case, you would have the uh, like slopes there instead of the balloons, probably. Balloons are pretty damn expensive after all. But just having balloons chill above the freaking vehicles, the nice. And now they shouldn't fire over that section. Yes, they are blocked, so they won't waste ammo. That's good. Now, time for the Gatling Cannon. Hopefully. There we go. So yeah. Does that kind of fire? Yes, it does. That one. I was like, wait, does it fire? But those two rear guns actually do fire over it. And I was like, I'm not sure for a moment, but it's fine. This tank is a beast. Yes, it does have two non-rotatable cannons. But those basically just protect the rear and the front. And all the other ones will make sure that targets are engaged accordingly. And it will be re pretty hard to actually take out overall. Because the guns each have 400 health. And the wheel itself is less than 3,000 health. So the actual the guns actually have more total health than the entire vehicle. So it's more efficient to like dig through and kill and so try to kill the vehicle entirely instead of degunning it. But if you do not degun it, it will of course dish out quite a lot of DPS overall. I mean, the actual damage part of these things are pretty damn high. So... Yeah, this is pretty much a budget version of the earlier Mammoth the Five, and and it's much cheaper. It's like this is less than it's just around five hundred coins at most, and after about a month, you should be able to afford this as a Five. And however, I do currently do not suggest that a player would specifically grind for this. Only if you have a lot of money left over and you don't really need anything else. Then go ahead and save up for something like this. Because currently the, the Vivans don't really see any matches. Especially at the 15,000 power score even then. It's, it's pretty high but it's not high enough. So... Yeah, little chance that it will actually do anything, but you guys wanted to see a budget version of the early the Fyphon. I mean, budget, it uses a common cabin, it uses common movement parts, it uses two common weapons and a custom, uh, common radar. So it doesn't actually use um, any parts. I actually, I would say the entire vehicle compared to these three pump balloons, the pump balloons would probably be more expensive. Let's see, yeah. The pump one uh, one pump balloon is around the value of the entire vehicle <laughs> in this case, but it's I mean those are just decor. You could pretty much ignore them if you don't have something like that, and uh, those parts right here as well. Just ignore them if you don't have such parts. Uh, uh, let's see the bonnets. A lot of players will probably not have those. So in return, you can, for example, go for Simply three of these. Oh, actually, does it, does it not fit? Oh, rip. 
So two of those then, and one of these. Something like that, that works too. But I, li I just like the bonnet, so. I don't know. Now I'm really starting to like this. Nah, damn it. We're gonna go for this then. <laughs> there we go. And of course, we gotta like, give it a lick of paint. Force camo. Force camo is probably around the. Pr uh, is probably even more expensive than the entire vehicle. Yep, there we go. 5.2 thousand. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot. I would sell it for the 3,000 coins thing and just get the new cabin for it. I mean, come on. Even still now, the new cabin. Where are you? New cabin isn't. There it is. Here, tw still over 2,000. Still a lot. So, yeah. That's about it, guys, for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, instead of me rambling about up the update, just doing being normal, doing both videos again. And yeah, I'll see you guys all later, man, guys. Bye bye.